don't get stuck because I can't back up. I'll, well, I can if I unhook my truck. Oh, please give me some room. I think I made it. <gasps> no, I might have to definitely unhook my truck. Dang it. Crapola. Okay, well, I'm here. <laughs> I might have should just stayed up front. <laughs> it's fine though, I can unhook my truck. I don't know, I might be able to make it. I'm gonna continue pulling forward because it's just flowers. I thought they were bushes. I didn't want to run them over, but I think it's just flowers. Yeah, I can definitely swing this, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see, I just gotta try and. Okay, yeah, I don't think I'm clearing that unless I was to clip the hedges back. And my truck is kind of at an awkward position. See, this is what I was trying to get around that's so, oh God, I hope I can even unhook. So, huh. Once I unlocked that bar, it wasn't too hard to actually unhook. So, yay, I'm gonna get that up and pull the truck back. All right. Nope, I just unlocked that one and then it came right up. I'm gonna back the truck up now. Okay, thank God. <laughs> that, that would have been annoying if that was complicated. Okay, now I should be able to wiggle my RV around and get it situated better. Mumu, you wanna come outside? Are you good? You're like, I'm chillaxing. Okay. Okay, I got my rig repositioned. I'm just gonna pull my truck up behind it and then I can hook it back up. I might wait a little bit just in case we want to go to the hiking trail and we could just drive the truck up there. I double checked and make sure there was no, no parking signs and I didn't see any, so. Lucky should be fine. It's definitely easier to go exploring in the truck than by foot, you can get farther. <laughs> but there is the hiking trail up here. Yeah, look at all this. Yeah, well, this is, the, this is the hiking trail. This is what I said had the big turnaround. I should have just came here. Then I wouldn't have had that big issue. See, there it is, um, Agua Fria National Monument Trail, and actually, maybe tomorrow before we leave, we can do that, or maybe later today. I don't know, it's only, it's only 3.30. Yeah, so this is the end of the maintained road. And so we're gonna continue on. Ugh, that looks a bit washed out. Not too bad though. Just a little bit right there. At least there's a cell tower way out there. Last two places we were camped at, the internet just sucked. This is the other big spot that I saw on the map. So it's nice to see what it looks like in person. I don't think, what is there, is there a way in and out? Oh, it seems like they have it blocked or, yeah, I think it's blocked. I'll just turn around. Get out, what you doing? Anyways. The I thought this was a road, but there's literally a camp ring or campfire ring right in the middle of the road. I think this is all camping back here, just dispersed camping. Yeah. Oh, that does go back to them. Yeah, I think these are just like uh, individual camping spots. You just pull back in. Oh, it looks like it could get pretty muddy back here. Look at the ruts. Yeah, this is a little spot right here. Not too bad. All right. I kind of like our spot though. Not that I need it, but we're by the restroom at least. We passed this spot every time we went down 17th. Yeah, I know. Yep, that's true. If we ever need to camp off of 17, we know this is here, so. And we know what it looks like. It's always bad going into places and you have no clue or idea what it's like or what to expect. So I don't think it doesn't go any further than this, does it? This. Yeah. Side side. Well, I'm going to go back this way. Oh, no, the road does continue right here. Well, yeah. This is another spot right here. Side side trail. Right, well, we're literally in a 4x4 four four truck. 
Oh, oh yeah, no, you're right it's though. A sandy I'm... wash. I wouldn't bring my RV back here unless I had uh, four wheel capabilities. Well, that looks like a lot of rock. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, so we're going to probably not continue on. It looks like a different off-road road, and you need some clearance. My truck is off-road capable, but it doesn't have high clearance, so I tend to bottom out sometimes. So let's not do this. Okay, well, that was a 20-point turn, but <laughs> I was able to make it. That way, you don't have to back up all the way. Awesome. Okay, we have the truck parked and there are some spaces here at the trailhead. And since we're gonna eventually do the trailhead, we thought we might as well just park the RVs over here because there's a big spot right over here I can park at. It's not so cramped like it is at the restrooms. Yeah, Jeff was just saying, it's kind of weird that they put the restrooms so far away. It's like a quarter of a mile from the trailhead. It's kind of warm during the day, but it is now just starting to cool down. So maybe when we get back and get situated, we'll do the trail tonight or later today. And that way in the morning, we can head out to our next destination. It's a good thing that we are kind of moving because it kind of smells. Was there any maps? Nope. No maps? Okay. Yeah, it might be the trash that's slung around or it could be the restrooms that smell a bit off. So we're just gonna move. Not to mention, I don't wanna be blocking people if they wanna come to the restroom. All right. Heading down to get situated and parked at the trailhead. Definitely is much warmer here. But that'll be nice though. The nighttime temperatures shouldn't be as cold. It's not too awful hot. It's not like 100 degrees or anything. All right, awesome. It'll be much easier to hook up my truck in the back there. I have room. Here comes Jeff. Not sure where he's gonna park. Right there, maybe. Yeah, he's got a smaller rig, so he can just squeeze in. I usually can too, it's not too bad if I don't have that truck behind me, but I do. So that's that. Right, Momo, that's that. Wanna go for a walkie poo? Walkie poo, here in a minute. Okay, it is 4.30 and the sun sets in about an hour. We're not sure if we're gonna make it all the way down to Agua Fria which Jeff just told me. I know what agua means, it's water. And fria is fire, so fire water. I think it's just a spring-fed kind of pool. He said a river, but I don't see any water flowing on the maps. But anyways, I guess you can't really tell that, can you? It just looks like uh, dry, dry, and then pools of water. So it shouldn't be too hot, because once we get in the canyon, it's pretty much shaded. It does suck that plans did change and I wasn't able to hang out with my other friends and stuff. But you know what? Things work out like they should. I love hikes and I've never been on this one before. So I'm excited about that. Well, what are we, cows? <laughs> feel like they're trying to wrangle us. Oh. So if I didn't mention, this is Badger Springs Trailhead at Agua Fria National Monument. Okay, we're gonna continue on. Like I said, I don't know how far we're gonna get, but sometimes it's about the journey, not the destination. I already hear a lot of birds. Nice. I guess this would be a perfect place for them. In a wash, a lot of vegetation growing. And that's what it is. There's a wash. Come move. What? Okay. I tried to look up how far it was to the actual water source, but it wasn't pulling it up. There's a sign here saying who passed this way if you want to pause and read. There it is.
So we should be losing the sun just about now. It should get pretty shady here. Which is lovely. That feels wonderful. What's going on? Huh? <laughs> Did you think you were getting a treat, Kellogg? Oh, wow. Look at how beautiful that is. Prickly pear cactus. That's a big specimen. It's pretty back here. Now that the sun is set behind the mountain, the shade feels wonderful. It's very comfortable to hike. Definitely wouldn't want to be here during the monsoon season. This looks like where a lot of water will flow. Oh, there's another wash over there too. Oh, did you see this plant here? I don't know what that, that is supposed to be. It's got these prickly things all over it. What is that, Moo Moo, huh? Looks like it was affected by some cold weather. Keep an eye out. It's a perfect spot for mountain lion to pounce on you. Oh, they're gonna get you. Ah! <laughs> yeah, because you got a lot of tall vegetation and higher ground. Oh, it's really sandy through here. That's cool. It's all the deposit. Oops, 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 oops. <laughs> You're stuck. Uh-oh, here, I got it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. He wanted to slow you down. Oh, wow. This is cold through here. Even if we don't make it all the way to the water, still a nice adventure. Oh, wow, it feels really, really cool right here. This is probably where a lot of water settles because back at home we have low spots and water settles there and you find that tends to be a lot cooler than everywhere else same kind of feel here and i can feel the moisture in the air huh oh yeah see there's green grass growing here there's probably moisture under there oh yeah the different kind of Vegetation. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Oh, yeah. Wow, it's wonderful through here. They have washes like this in Quartzsite and places like that, but I don't think the vegetation is as much as it is here. Although right now, there are a lot of things that are kind of dried up and dead. It's probably past its season. Whatever this is, looks like a willow. That is a willow, but it is bright green or dark green. Yeah, because look, you can tell the water gets stuck here and probably pools. Oh yeah, it is a willow because there's one right behind it. This just goes to show you that you can definitely have life in the desert. But just like everything, it needs water. It's plenty of water here in the wash. I guess enough to sustain it throughout the season. Just remember this is a lovely walk and we are going downhill. So when we come back to the rigs, it's all uphill. <laughs> I hear crickets. It's actually very peaceful back here. All these steep hills probably help to feed this wash. But during monsoon season, there's a lot of water that rushes down here. Is there a trail over there? That's it. So we've been walking in the water. <laughs> and there's an actual trail. It feels really warm right here. It's probably the rocks. Probably radiating the heat from the sun earlier today. Okay. We found the trail. I didn't even notice this trail. 
Yeah. It's probably what happened is it went into the wash and then came back out, but we didn't notice the part that came back out. So we continued along the wash. Wow, so pretty. Look how lush the vegetation is here. It's amazing. More prickly pear. Oh, wow. Huh? Bushes? Oh. Momo, come on. There's a big, huge tree there. You can't go that way. Let's go this way. Come on. Go, go, go. Good girl. Oh, these are kind of trails I like. Kind of enclosed. Oh, look at that. The willow is flowering. How oh, pretty. It's moist here. It is moist? Let's see. Oh. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, it seems like this is a place for it to get trapped. I bet plenty of water gets trapped up in this area. That's why it's so lush. Let's continue on. Uh, I'm really enjoying this, and this is a perfect time of day. The sun's still out, but since we're in the valley or the wash, it's all shaded this time of day. Yeah, it is a perfect in summer. And too cold in the winter. Right. So today's high. What? What was it? 80. 80. Yeah, and then tonight's supposed to be 48. Wow! Look at that. It really opens up here. Wow! Look at all these huge gray boulders. That's amazing. You up there, Momo? <laughs> Momo, come on. Huh? Huh? Good girl. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. All right, go. Want to jump down? Nice. Did you want to come up too, Kellogg? <laughs> I'm not sure if y'all can see that, but all the light green there, that's all prickly pear. There's tons of them on the hillside. Well, there's just a lot of vegetation, period. Oh, oh. Sawara cactus. There's one there, one way up high. Not sure if you can see it. There's less vegetation. It looks drier on this side. Yeah. What is it, Momo? Go, go, run. It's like you're at the beach. No water. <laughs> Get her, get her, get her, get her, get her. I, you're trying to tease her with a stick. You know she doesn't like sticks. Wow, look how big some of those prickly pear cactus are. This is absolutely beautiful. Ooh, it just got really kind of cold here. Wow, look how huge this lava rock or boulder is. That's humongous. Huh. It's pretty cool. Go ahead. Good girl. Just gonna walk in the wash. Seems easier than the trail sometimes. Another spot where water seems to pool. Look at the grass. Or is that some from a reed? It's more like a reed. What are you doing, Kellogg? Weirdo. <laughs> I think we might actually be getting close to the water source. Definitely feels a lot cooler here. amazing. Look at the rock wall. So beautiful. The canyon's getting deeper and the walls seem to get taller and taller. There's more saguaro cactus around. It's absolutely beautiful here. It's 
all mud. Yeah. Kicked mud. Yeah. Right, right here. Huh. Oh, green it's really green up here. Oh, wow. Uh, we made it, I think. This is it. Yay! Um, so, we passed a couple, and they said they went around that way, and they went way too far. They are trying to make it to a mine that's back there somewhere. Yeah. I'm just happy to make it to the river, or the water source here, that's supposedly fed by a spring. Oh, wow. Look how sandy it is. This is where all the water converges. And look, they got a bank of green, dark green grass just way down there. I think that's the, looks about dried up water source. But so you get water from here, from there, and from there. This would be awesome to come see, like during the monsoon when it's like probably full. Just as long as we don't get trapped by the rushing water. But after like the monsoon rains, come and see how full it is. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah. Not as much water. It's not as grand as I thought it would be, but still cool, huh? Water gets trapped up in the rocks, I'm sure. Look how large those boulders are. They're just everywhere. I'm sure they've fallen down from up high. Where are you going to? Is there a trail that goes around? Well, yeah, if you can get over the first few rocks, it's going to fly. Okay. Huh. Let's take a quick pan. So there's a canyon that goes off in that direction there. Obviously, comes from there. And then the one we just came down here. Wow. Looks like it's definitely dried up. I wonder what's been in here. They look like, I don't know, dog prints, something, something big. Maybe some kind of cows. I don't know if they free range cows back here. All right, I'm going to go check where he's going to. We definitely can't go much further because we are losing the light. And I didn't bring a flashlight, so I'm sure it'll get pretty dark back here. Okay. Let's see about this. Huh. Oh, that looks like it gave a crush at somebody's toes. Okay. Up, up, up. How are you doing, Moo? <laughs> oh, That's pretty cool. Definitely get a different view. Oh, you can tell where the water flows. And then comes straight into here. Nice. Yeah, I'm sure water pools and sinks into the ground there. Wow. I wonder what kind of stone this is. This is unusual. Is it like a granite? Looks kind of granite. Doesn't that look granite? I think that's what it is. It's like a black and white granite. Look at that view. That's amazing. That's awesome. Do y'all find a, another pool over there? Okay. I'll wait right over here. Momo. <laughs> you excited, honey? You like hikes too, don't you? Yeah, you want some water? I can give you some water. You okay, Memo? <laughs> grass is really thick through there, huh? Wow. Jeff was just mentioning he's amazed by how thick the vegetation is around here. And yeah, me too, but you know, not really because where there's water, there's usually life. Oh my God, Moo Moo. Look, I walked through those, uh, that tall grass and I've got like these weird caterpillar seed pods on me. That's weird. They're all over. They stuck to me. Hmm. Maybe they're just closed. But there's some of these weird 
Okay, I'm gonna get these off. They're weird. Yeah, they look like fat caterpillars. They're like Velcro. It's weird. Velcro stickers here. Oh. That's different. Wait, that reminds me of the game. You know that Velcro thing you throw? Oh, no. Did it? Oh, oh it's stuck on you. It did. Yeah, Look. Yeah. That's something different. But there's plants with these just covered with these white. Oh, yeah. Little those are, things. Those are weird. Huh. Cal, you want me to throw one of these seed heads at you? It's, it's like Velcro. Boop. Right at your forehead. All right. Well, we're losing our daylight. So we're going to go ahead and hike back up the wash. This doesn't look dangerous at all. The ledge. That's <laughs> not a bar drop, though. You got it, Mimica. Bye, beautiful oasis. We'll see you again, hopefully. Just amazing. Look how green it is. <laughs> Go, Mama. We're gonna give the dogs a little water before we head back, though. Got it? They are patiently waiting. Look at that. <laughs> Is he taking a long time to do that, huh? A good thing they're not gonna like thirst to death. <laughs> there you go. It's a pretty cool gadget. It doesn't allow too much water out. Yeah, well, let him finish. Let him finish first. Okay. And Mama's like, let me get some. Okay. You scared her. Yeah, the noise. Good job. Okay, I brought water too. Oh. Hydrate. Treats too? That's too big. We're gonna be here all night. We're we're literally losing all our daylight. Moo moo. Yeah, she she can't eat that whole thing right there. Here, let me give you a little piece. So you can have the rest when we get back, okay? My shoe is untied. Oh, pipe? Yeah. Oh, look at the old rusty pipe. I wonder if they, um, if they dammed up the water used to, like, get water from that, uh, like, the area since it flooded. But obviously it's no longer in use because the pipe is broken there. There's supposed to be petroglyphs in the... That's the marking zone. Oh, is that what? There? As I was signing in, I noticed there was check boxes for the reason why you were coming here. Camping, blah, 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 hiking. And then there was also a box for petroglyphs. But I haven't really seen any. Yeah, this definitely reminds me of where a mountain lion would want to eat your face off. All these kind of steep cliffs. Well, what are you doing? Huh? You taking your own trail? Silly. Did you just hear me talk about mountain lions? Come on. <laughs> There's the little fat caterpillar plant that got on me earlier. Wow, oh, those things are definitely like Velcro. Velcro, Mimo, Velcro! Go! That one's ready. Tonight I'm gonna go ahead and make some smothered burritos. What I do is we just get the store-bought burritos, we cut them in half. And then I nuke them for a minute on each side. Then I smother it in chili and then cheese. And then I put it back in for another two minutes. So it's a very easy recipe. Using Stag's Chili No Bean. And then the Organic Shredded Sharp Cheddar. And this is what it looks like after the last two minutes. Oh, that looks yummy. Okay, time for this one to go in. 
two minutes. Start. Oh, that flashing light is annoying. Okay. Yep, that looks done. Okay. All right, dinner is served. Wow, are you hungry, Kellogg? You're <laughs> chopping down over there. Oh, yeah. Even though he had all those treats. I know. Piggy poo. What are you doing, Mama? I don't hear you chopping down. Huh? Oh, you are. You're just not as loud as Kellogg. Hi, everybody. We want to thank you for hanging out with us today. And we'll be going to a different location in the next video. So hopefully you'll check it out and see where we end up. If you want to check out more videos, they'll be right over here. If you want to subscribe or check out Patreon, it'll be right over there. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Mwah.